So how are ethics linked to the bottom line? Like you've talked about some of what, what happens if your reputation gets affected, but are there, there are other links to the bottom line? That's an easy, uh, easy call. Um, think about uh, the budget of New Zealand and think about how much Bank of America had to pay in fines. They had to pay 26.8 billion dollars in fines. Yes, highest fines ever. So what, did that, what does that mean if you compare it with a, with a budget of New Zealand, it's with the GDP. It's absolutely uh, mind-blowing. I think the, the, there are many ways to look at the business case. Uh, in fact, um, we are not running that much in uh, this way of approaching the issue. It is not driven by, uh, our approach is not driven by the bottom line. Um, we do know that in many organizations you have uh, people who are cynical, people who are sceptical, people who are tired of everything, people who think that the bottom line drives everything. Um, this way of thinking is a uh, 20th century uh, way of thinking. Um, it's not that it is not uh, fashionable in the 21st century, but just out, it's uh, out of scope, uh, I think, for senior management in many corporations. Um, one of the paradox is, is the fact that this very valuable asset, which is a culture of integrity, is not reflected in the accounts. And it's something we, we need to solve. The table is in the account, the chair is, is in the account, but the culture of integrity, which is much more valuable and much more important to value a company, is nowhere in the accounts. We need to find a solution to this. Uh, 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 it, is absolutely, uh, it is absolutely key. Of course, there are a lot of institutions, NGOs, who um, have an, uh, an opinion about uh, the worth of, uh, of an organization in terms of ethical reputation, but it is not sufficient. We should find a way to uh, rationalize all this. Well, you've talked a little bit about the, how your employees respond. What, what sort of response are you getting from customers? Are they engaging with you on this? Well, I would say it probably depends uh, on the brands. We have consumers who are really, uh, who really love this. Um, uh, the, you also have consumers who doesn't make the link between uh, the L'Oreal group and uh, some of our brands. Um, we have consumers who are less concerned but uh, I would say, once again, um, we do it for ourselves because we believe it is the right thing. And not the right, it's the only way to, uh, to drive a business, to drive an organization long term and to be sustainable. There is no choice. T to be uh, unethical is not a choice, it's not an option. So you've been doing this for a very long time now and you're um, recognised as one of the world's most ethical companies. I'm sure there's been some pretty big challenges that have come along the way. Would you be willing to share some of those with us? The first challenge is whether or not we communicate on this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, we, uh, no. no, of course we have, uh, we have many uh, challenges. Uh, I can mention some, some, some of them. Um, challenges that, many, that we share with many organizations. Um, some relates to the business, some relates to, uh, to us as human beings. Um, we, uh, we have sometimes challenges on management style, the way we manage uh, uh, people. Here or then, uh, we may have issues, that's okay. We solve them, we address them, we're not hiding them. Um, <clears throat> we may have uh, here or there issues with uh, some advertisement. How far do we go? Uh, when we, uh, um, sometimes we, well, in fact, uh, quite often, um, pictures, it's a practice in the industry, is phot are photoshopped. How far do we go? That's a real issue. And we need to think about it. 
So we are not hiding this issue. What we are doing is we are addressing it internally. And we take on purpose challenging questions, challenging issues. We, um, we take some of our advertisement, we look at them, we see what are the challenges. Should we go that far, not that far? What is the meaning? Which type of, um, uh, which uh, top models we, we should use? Is it okay or not to use a skinny top model? Because if we use a skinny top model, one of the issues is maybe we are encouraging million young girls to have an anorexic behavior. Is it proper or not? Of course, we believe it's in, improper. So we stop doing this. And we need to train ourselves to understand skin, uh, the color of the skin. Is it uh, proper or not to, uh, to alter the, the color of the skin of top models? And if yes, uh, how far do we go? The consent of whom do we need to, to get? Um, uh, the issue behind is obviously, and um, a matter of respect. It is very important to respect the consumers and the market where we operate. 